Hi there, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic Android project. Uh, I'm assuming that you have Android Studio already installed. Uh, if not, I'll suggest you to get that installed. So once you have Android Studio, you can just click on the Android Studio icon and open this panel. And from here you can see like the projects which I've already created are displayed here and I, I get the option to create a new project. Um, just to let you know, I'm using a Mac, a MacBook. So uh, the same thing should apply for Windows also, but the principles will remain the same. So let's start. So what I'll do is I'll click on this start a new Android studio project and walk you through this process. So let's call our app basically hello Android. Now you can call it with whatever name you want. It, it can be like my portfolio or hello world or whatever. Then you can give your company domain, which is essentially the package, the package name. So packages in Android are used to distinguish the apps. It's, it's pretty important actually. So I'll suggest that you choose a, a, a domain, basically like your own domain. Like for me, it can be like Ankur. So it can be like Ankur.com or it can be anything. It can be Android.com, but it should be it should be unique basically. So I'm calling it eDocent. Uh, so once you enter the name, you click on next. Okay. And this, the, the next panel that you see, this gives you an option to choose for which platforms or for which device you are targeting your app. So it can be, you know, phone and tablet, TV, glass, other. Android provides a bunch of, um, bunch of options. So for now, since we are creating a basic app for our phone, like mobile, so I'm, I'm going ahead with the phone and tablet. Now this minimum SDK that you see here, this is uh, a little important, important in the sense that Android, as you might have noticed, Android keeps on releasing various versions of its um, of its platform, its operating system. So the thing is that the most recent versions, if you you have the option to select the most recent version, like twenty three is the is the latest we have, which is the Marshmallow, which is also called Marshmallow. But the problem is that very few devices will support this. So your audience will be restricted as you can see they they give a very good uh, uh, a message basically so by targeting api 23 and later your your app will run on less than one percent of the devices so a good a good thing will be to uh, to first understand um, what kind of audiences you are targeting and how much audience do you want to reach normally i'll i'll select you know i'll i'll choose something which is greater than say 50% or 60%, like 17 is good, 18 is good. 18 also supports like 66.9% of the devices. So let's choose like 18. And you have the option to later, you know, modify that. So we selected 18 and next, we have the option to choose um, a predefined template also. Now, since we are creating a basic Android app, I won't get into the details of this uh, of this selection, but for now you can just select the blank activity and click on next. And here, you know, you, you have the option to choose the activity name, layout name. You might not be familiar with all this. So we'll cover that in, in future lessons. For now, you can leave the defaults selected, you know, and just click on finish. So once you click on finish, Android builds this project for you, you know, and once that is done, <clears throat> it, it'll open the project by default for you. So this is the process which Android does each time. So I can see there is some ID internal error which is getting displayed, but you don't have to worry about it. So this is the project which gets displayed, you know, this is the project we just created and by default it opens in the Android perspective. You can also open it in the project perspective. 
so hello android and you can see a bunch of files which have been created for you so let let's see what is there in android so if you see android has generated a set of files for us a set of uh, this is the package uh, we selected com edosint and then it appends the name of the app which is hello android to make it unique uh, you have the main activity class uh, which is open here it's a it's a java file basically and then you have a test class um, you know which allows your you to test your app basically you have some xml files also which we'll see later um, when we get in, into the details uh, so xml files like string xml and styles xml the names are quite uh, you know they make sense basically uh, but still we'll cover them later on and then you have layout xml files which are nothing but they essentially define the layout of your app so this is the this is the primary xml file and this this view basically shows you how your app will show on a mobile device which is pretty cool so that's it like this is a very basic app which we just created and uh, i hope this gives you a good idea of how to set up a basic project we'll get in, into the details uh, later on like what all files are there how you can connect to github uh, push your files there and access it from your studio and stuff like that but for now uh, that's it uh, thanks for staying with me have a good day